This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. And today I'm going to show you a new method to deleting bosses in Elden Ring. Let's get to it. So before we get into the who, what, when, why, how, all that good stuff, I cannot take credit for this. I learned this from watching Distortion 2's live stream on Twitch. So I got to give credit where credit is due. He is a speedrunner. He just finds stuff like this. I will link his Twitch and his YouTube down in the comment section. Check him out. Guarantee you will learn a lot from speedrunners. So there is a bug that allows you to use the Ash of War that is the equivalent to the Karian Retaliation spell. So if we just ring this little bell here and we do this, we swoop it up and we get some glint blades that follow us around and attack whatever we target. And you just equip this Ash of War to your shield. Now, you don't have to use the belt. You can also use a few other spells. I like the Rancor Call, but you can also just use the bell. And I'm going to show you where to get all of this stuff at the end of the video, but I'm going to show you how ridiculous it is. So you just ring the bell and then you just swoop it up with the retaliation and you get three glint blades. Well, there's a bug that causes them to essentially just do stupid amounts of damage. Now, the interesting thing is, is this bug only works on the shield version of this. If I ring the bell and we just kind of swipe it up there and we get the, the blades and we target something here, you can see we don't do a whole heck of a lot of damage to him. However, if we ring the bell and we swipe it up and any blade that hits anything when they even when they separate all three blades don't have to hit the same target uh it does just stupid damage to whatever you're hitting so we'll just kind of run in here oh nope it's not going to do it anyway let me show you what happens when you do it to a boss with a lot of hp all right so here we go we got a boss we're just going to ring the bell we're going to swipe it up uh because the reason i didn't use the ranker call for the first part of that is because i don't want to gain his attention until i'm ready i like the ranker call because you don't collect all of them so some of them actually connect with the target and do additional damage but you don't necessarily need it because uh just watch just look at that. That's insanity. Absolute insanity. And as stated, let me see if I can make sure I get out of this nonsense here. We can also use the ranker call ability. There you go. And if we let him get close, I mean, there you go. That's, that's insane. We could three shot that boss if I wanted to, but I'm going to save him for additional testing. But yeah, so you can see the damage there is absolutely nuts. I also want to point out that the damage on this does increase with intelligence um, and you can increase it with things like the magic scorpion charm and the shard of Alexander because it is a skill. So if you take a look here, let's, uh, let's just ring the bell and hit it and we are doing... 1971 and if we come over here and we equip this to boost our intelligence and we do it again let's get our thing off there and we hit it again and let's see if we can just target it never wants to target that guy 1981 so we gained an additional 10 damage uh, with just a tiny little bit of intelligence boost there all right so first off where to get the bell so the bell can be found over here at these ruins right about here. So we're just going to go to this waypoint here. And there's going to be a bunch of creepy dudes here that are going to actually like ring bells at you. Um, you can just kind of ignore them. They're not really that big of a deal. And then we're just going to run diagonally over here until we get to this spot over here and there are stairs you don't have to fight anything you don't have to do anything you just run down the stairs and i'll show you exactly where i'm at on the map anyway you open the door and right here is the belt and here is where the door is on the map you can see where i am there now getting the retaliation spell there is a little bit more involved so as far as i know you have to get through this part here in the manor and you have to beat uh, the boss that is here so that you can get to this area here. There may be a way to get to this spot without beating this boss, but I don't know it. The way that I know to do it, you have to beat the boss. So you beat the boss here, you run out here, you jump on your horse and you just hug this wall 
Turn left, and we're just gonna go right down the way here. And then you can see right over here, there is a spot where we can drop down on top of this building, and that's what we wanna do. And then we're gonna, we're gonna bounce off the horse here because it's a little bit easier to do this next part on foot. You can see right down here, there's a platform. We're gonna fall on that. And then we're gonna move easy forward. We're gonna fall on this. And then real easy, fall on this. And then we want to fall down here. And now for you, this dude, they're, depending on where you're at in the game, this dude can be in two locations. For me, he was dead. I had to take his bell bearing to the twin sisters. Uh, he could also just be here groveling on the floor. And if that's the case, you can buy it from him there. For me, I had to collect his bell bearing and then take it over here to the hold. And you just, I'm sure most of you know how the bell bearings work by now, but just in case you don't, I'm gonna show you. So you just give his bell bearing to these ladies and then uh, it is right here and then you can buy it for 3,000 runes. I already made a video showing how to get the ranker call spell. It's a little bit more involved, so I will uh, link that down in the description to the timestamp where it shows how to get it. And you can just pop down there, click that link, and it will show you how to get it. But the, like I said, the reason I like it a little bit better than the bell is because you just step forward and you grab them, and you can see we have three connect, and we did 2,107, as opposed to if we just do the bell, we get like the base damage for, I guess, what this can do, which I guess is their health, which is 1,971. I don't know if that's their health or not, but that's how much damage we get. So you get a little bit of extra damage because you don't collect all of the uh, rankers there. You only need to collect one and you get, well, he died beforehand, but yeah, you get the idea. You get a little bit of extra damage on a boss if you do that as opposed to the bell. So yeah, that's it for this one. Just a quick, short video. I just wanted to help spread the word on this for people who are having problems with bosses. It's gonna delete pretty much any boss that you fight, either two, three hits, it's going to absolutely just destroy them because the damage that it does, this bug does, is absolutely ridiculous. So make use of it now while you can because, I mean, obviously it's a really bad bug. I'm sure it's going to get patched pretty quickly. Hopefully you found this video helpful and informational. If you did, consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload other videos. Also, make sure you go subscribe to Distortion 2's channel as well because uh, he's doing a lot of cool things over there and you you will definitely be able to learn a lot from his speed runs and testing. I want to give absolute massive shout out and thank you to my supporters on Patreon for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my Lee Crow Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.